Hey guys, Jade Moonlight 18 here. Um, this is my first Witchy Wisdom 1 video, well, actual topic video. Um, so yeah, the topic is um, what it's like being a Team Wiccan and if we can give any advice out to other beginners, you know, team beginners. Um, so I'm doing this video a day early. Um, I'm not very well. I just did a video on my personal channel. Um, I just feel like doing my video today, I'm just going to get up and ready and then I'll post it tomorrow morning. Um, the lights were really bad, I'm doing this in a different place to where I usually do my videos, it's in my room still but I've leaned it on my desk with my windows right here so yes that is why. Um, it seems that my cat is always in my witchy wisdom one videos because he's actually down here. And every time I seem to film a video for this channel, he comes into my room or he follows me and tries to get in the camera. So he's a bit of a show off. Um, he is asleep, so, so hopefully he won't get up and start standing on my keyboard, which he usually does. I did just plan doing this video and it was 16 minutes. Um, I was just like doing it on my iPod just to practice type thing. I don't know why I did that, it's just then hopefully I will talk about everything I want to do and it's been one minute already so sorry for that. So, for a Team Wiccan, now first of all I will say that just because you're a teenager doesn't make it any harder to be a 25 year old Wiccan or you know it's not just for a Wiccan, it's for Wiccan, Pagan, a uh, Witch but I'm just going to say Wiccan throughout my video because I am Wiccan so I class, you know, that's why I would class it as, but it, it does, it's not just based for a Wiccan, this information. So anyway, yeah, everyone goes through troubles, it's not just if you're a teenager, I mean, you know, all, your craft's not always going to be 100% great, you know, sometimes you're going to go through things, some people aren't going to like what they, what you are, um, there's going to be people that maybe you lose because of what you believe in. Um, so it's not always going to be great, you know, you're going to have bad things happen and it's not just for the tea, that's what I'm going to say. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm 18, um, I don't know if you all still class that as being a teenager, but it's 18, you know, it's 18, so I class that as a teen still and I think most people over here in the UK still class it as a teenager, I don't know if you do anyway, but anyway. I'm 18, I go to college, I don't go to school so I can't obviously say much about the school, what it's like being in school, but I can say what it's like being in college. Um, my sister goes to school and I know sometimes you can't wear jewellery in school so um, I'm just going to start, start with that. Um, with hiding my religion in um, college, sorry. I don't really do that. I, I always wear my pentagram. It's always on show. I know that doesn't just class you as a Wiccan, you know, if some you see someone wearing a pentagram, it does not mean they're Wiccan. But I always wear a pentagram. And obviously, you don't have to wear a pentagram if you're Wiccan or if you're Pagan or you don't have to wear one. I, I just do. But um, I wear my pentagram. I wear this all the time around my neck. I don't hide it. It's always on show. I've had people stare at it at college before. Um, you know, I've had people look at it, no big difference to me, I don't really care. Um, I always also wear a ring. Um, I wear my pentagram because I believe it symbolises and shows people out there um, what I am. You know, I don't care if they look at me and think that's the devil's sign or anything like that because wearing this makes me show people. That's what it feels like to me. Um, so. I mean, being a teen Wiccan in, in schools and colleges, it, it's pretty hard. There's people out there, you get the bullies, you know, there's there's bullies out there that just bully you for having a different hair colour or, you know, wearing a bag that they take the pee out of. It's not just because of a religion. Most people, I think, probably have been bullied once in their life. I mean, I had a friend who just got bullied because of her name, and I think that's just stupid, but, you know you get different terms of bullying and obviously I think it's hard for you out there if you if people bully you because of what you believe in it's horrible and I know that it's horrible because I've been bullied before but it's not for my path um, but just because someone's taking 
make making fun of you doesn't mean you should stop practicing in Wicca or what you believe in because they don't have the right to take it away from you just because they're taking the mick, you know? Um, and you shouldn't feel that you have to stop learning because people are. And I know someone, a boy, um, who was pagan, his friends took the mick, his parents didn't like it, so he stopped. He's still in love with paganism, but he doesn't want to learn it because of he was bullied. You know? And it, you shouldn't let people take that away from you. The only reason why I'm talking about that is in what it's like for a Team Wiccan, because obviously the most you will have to overcome being a Team Wiccan is going to school and people saying stuff to you and, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I go to college, I'm perfectly fine with it. I mean, at college you get to wear your own clothes anyway, for Beltane, um, um, a little while back. Um, I dressed up, I wore really colourful, I went a bit different to what that I usually do, had a flower in my hair and stuff like that. It's just, obviously no one really knows, I mean, I don't think anyone knows at my college. No one's actually really ever mentioned my pentagram in college. I've had someone ask me what it was, and I've asked, had someone, we were in a game, we were playing a game, um, in my class we were bored, um, me and my friend and then a few boys were sat in a circle and we were just drawing, um, and then we were guessing what that was. I know that was a real childish game, but you know, we were bored. Um, and then I drew a star, and then one of the boys said, oh, just like your um, necklace. And um, that's all anyone's really ever said about it. <sighs> um, yeah, so in college, it's, it's hard being a team worker, you know. You've got to overcome obstacles, but no matter what, you've got to overcome ob obstacles. And then you've got your home life for a team worker. Now, if you are a teen Wiccan, obviously I'm 18, I count myself as an 18, a teen, sorry, but I'm 18, you know, so I can kind of, I still think I've got to apply to what my parents say, but you know, when you're 15, you're 16, if your parents say, I don't want you lighting a candle in your room, you can't do it, you know, it, it's, you're under their roof, you're in their house, if they tell you, I don't want you learning with her, you know, you've got to sometimes, under, you've got to listen to what they say. I mean, I've done a video on the broom closet on my personal channel, so if you want more on that, just go ahead and look. Um, and there's loads of people out there who have. So I'm not really going to go into much depth about this, but um, I still believe everyone has a right to, what, to believe what they want. So I'm not telling you to go ahead and do it when your parents say no, but right now I'm not going to get onto the broom closet -y and telling your parents and stuff like that. But one thing I will say is it's good to tell someone, even if it's your friend, that you barely ever see or it's just a friend over the internet it's good to tell someone because it's nice to have someone to talk about with what's the point of going around something you you can't talk about the thing you enjoy to anyone because no one knows so it's good to come out of the broom closet to some people if you're not just going to come out to your parents um i don't really talk about it with my friends uh i have different types of friends i have college friends i have school old school friends i have friends that live in different countries i have friends out of school college sorry and they you know I mean I talk about spirituality crystals new age with my, one of my friends but she doesn't really know I'm Wiccan I think she can probably guess though I didn't go out shouting I'm Wiccan to everyone but I you know I'm not that scared to show what I am um I can't really think well, so it's, it's just being a team Wiccan is no different to being really much of a different to being any type of Wiccan. You're always, you know, going to have to overcome things. And being a team Wiccan, actually there's, there's people out there that say you can't be Wiccan because you're a teenager. There's people out there that say you need to be studying, you need to be thinking about other things, you need to be going out to parties and stuff like that instead of wasting, ugh, I don't know, it's not wasting your time, sorry. Um, spending your time doing, uh, learning, practicing the craft. Um, I agree and disagree with this. I disagree because I think a teenager, just because they're a teenager doesn't mean they can't do learn about Wicca, you know, they're a teenager. Just because I'm a teenager can I not fall in love? Just because I'm a teenager can I not go outside in the dark? Just because I'm a teenager can I not walk off by myself? You know, a teenager, there is always a stereotype to a teenager, you have to do this. No, you don't. You can learn if you're a teenager. But obviously there's, I'm not going to say more important things, there isn't, I think my class one of the most important things to me, you know, my path, it's just really important to me. Um, but obviously there's very important things you've got to focus on. 
when you're in like your GCSE year or um, your exam year you've got to focus on that so if you're you know at home you have 40 minutes you don't have an hour to spare and there's a book you want to read um oh, let me think uh, to ride a silver broomstick i'm only going to say that one because that's my floor to ride a silver broomstick and then you have um an english book for your gcse um of mice and men that's what i had to read in gcse yeah and you have an exam tomorrow you have to read this book the whole book they've told you otherwise you're dead you know and then you have this to ride a silver broomstick and your friend said you can borrow it for one night and she wants you to read it and then give it back well what are you going to read you know it's an easy answer you go for your GCSE yearbook of course it's your GCSE book it's it's important you need to read that you know so there are p things more important you've got to sometimes take away oh I can't do work on my book of shadows because I've got to be doing my core art coursework there's obviously things and there's important things that you need to focus on but I'm not going to say just because you're a teenager you can't be a Wiccan because that's not right advice let me just this is 11 minutes let me just um get to advice um, right, so advice I've given you, like, say it is probably best to at least if you if you know you can't come out of the room closet, you need to tell someone because you, you don't need to. Um, but it's best to because it's otherwise you have to always keep it a secret to someone. And keeping things secret sometimes just turn into bigger and bigger secrets. You hide the book under your bed, you don't want your parents to find. One day your mum's cleaning, she finds it. Then you have to explain that secret. You know. Um, tools, actually, that's a good thing. Like, it's not just tools. When you're younger, you know, maybe there's some things you can't buy. Um, in my new age shop, where there's, um, I buy quite a lot of my stuff, there's the athames, there's an 18 plus part, which up the tops there, there are athames. And when I first started out, of course, I couldn't buy one, because I was under the age. Um, so that's a trouble you're going to come over, you're going to find. But it's a trouble that can be easily solved. I don't know if um, it applies anywhere else, but I don't think you can buy lighters here either. That I know of anyway. That's apparently what my sister said. She says, oh, you'll have to buy me one because I can't buy one. Um, but anyway, that's what you're going to have to um, come to overcome. But it's a real simple thing because you really need to sit and think, what can you do if you can't buy an athame? you make one it's not hard you know you this usually a problem you can always usually overcome so you can make kind of affirme you know if there's books you can't buy or something like that you I don't really think there would be a book a 15 year old can buy but if you can buy a book you know you just wait you know there, there is things you have to overcome so just wait and think okay um Okay, so I had to stop my video because it started going all googly at the end. So I wanted to finish this off. I don't. The end part I just really digested. It was really good, and I was so annoyed. But it started going all fuzzy and weird, and my speech started going out of tune. So I was on tools. Now it's not just if you can't get them because you're you're too young. Um. Sorry. It's all you have to always overcome things um, with price as well um, I mean I know there's teenagers out there that may be 14 they don't have jobs and their parents don't give them pocket money so you can't go around buying an athame for £50 you know um, or a, a wand because I know you look in these books and you see all these lists of these fantastic um, tools you want you see the wand, the cauldron, the chalice you want them you know um, I'm just going to say right now, you don't need them, okay? So don't read a book and say, great, I have to have that, otherwise I can't be Wiccan. Because it's not true. Um, but saying that, I will say that I want the tools because, you know, it's not just because I think that if I don't have them, I can't be Wiccan. I just want them because I feel that I have to have them. That's personally to me. But you don't have to have them. You don't have to go out and buy a £50 athlete, a £70 wand. You know, it's... It's the same with the Book of Shadows as well, you don't have to buy a £200 Book of Shadows. You can create your own, you can make your own, you can buy a £2 notebook, you know? But, 
if you do want the tools and you don't have the money because your parents won't give you pocket money and you don't have a job, there's a simpler solution. Go out in nature. You can find the most beautiful stick, turn it into a wand, put some ribbon on it, put some gemstones on it. Go out and get some leaves to represent air, earth, air, earth. Um, get a feather to represent air. You go and get a pine cone to re represent your god. You know, it's all out in nature. You can go and do it. You can go and get the tools for free. Use a dish for a cauldron, a cup, a glass for a chalice. It's it's easy. You don't if you want the tools, you don't have to spend five hundred pounds on them. You know, you, you can just have like little. You can get them. You can make them. You can. Sorry, go out in nature and get them. Um. So yeah. I think, no, 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 actually, there's one more thing I'm going to say. Um, the best place I would recommend to learn is not even in a book. It's on YouTube. You're on it right now. This is the best place for you to learn, but this is my opinion. I learned so much on YouTube. I, I need to say thank you to all the great people out there. You know, I watch their videos and I learn so much. There's people that still think, you know, we're, even right now, I'm sitting here and I'm, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm explaining a... Sorry, it's my baby moving. Um, I'm sitting here and I'm explaining to you. You know, I'm sitting here using my time making a video to give you information to help you learn. You know, there's people out there that are giving you information to learn. YouTube is the best place. And one great thing, guess what? It's free, you know? You don't have to waste money on it. Not waste, because, you know, buying books and stuff is not wasting. But... If you don't have the money to spend, you can go on YouTube, man. I mean, we need to say there's some great people out there. I mean, with the great people, though, like Witch on the Rocks, The Shoe Whisperer, um, Tip Joe Tick, um, I'm just trying to think, sorry. There's just, you know, there's loads. I can't think of, I can't think of all of them, sorry. I like so many channels, I've subscribed to so many, and I sit there watching all their videos. But the thing is with them, people, is they have so many subscribers. I mean, I think they have like 5,000 subscribers or something like that. And they're giving you something. They're giving you all this information for free. And for, sometimes you need to think about them as well. You don't just need to sit there and, you know, there's people that you get the moaning people in the comments. You just think before you speak because then people are wait, not wasting, sorry, they're using their time to film and, you know, they could be out looking after their kids or something and they're using their time to make videos and one thing I will say because I think they've, some of them have mentioned it in their videos is people keep emailing them the same thing saying the new beginners saying where do I start with Wicca? What tools do I need to get? What this? What that? What this? Think before you go and do that because if you just type in where do I start in Wicca? What do I need to do in Wicca? What do? What is anathema? Just type in you'll find it. On YouTube, there's people who have made videos of it already. You don't need to go and ask them and email them and use their time up. Because if you look on YouTube, you'll find information. You know, or the internet, you'll find information. And if you can't, then go and email them and say, I can't find a video on this, I can't find this. Because otherwise, you know, it's unfair to them. You need to think about other people as well. Um, I mean, I love helping people learn in the craft because I think I owe a debt to people because I've... I've learned so much from YouTube, you know, so that's why I wanted to make videos, because I wanted to help others learn. Um, and I have a page on Facebook as well, that I get quite a few people, like, asking me things, you know, it's for beginners, you know, you get loads of people questioning you and asking you, and it's great to help people, but sometimes you need to think about them, people who you're asking, because they need time, you know, they need time and space to do their type things. Um, okay, this is going to be quite a long video, so yeah, I think I'm going to go there. But that's the Wednesday video. Um, I will be uploading it on Wednesday, not today when I'm filming it. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to go over. I always forget something, so I'm sorry if I did. If I'm a dope, I will forget. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked the video and got some information out of it. So, thanks for watching.